that's true. But you know how on Facebook, amongst Israel, I shall say, when they feel like when someone says something and they're like, no brother or no sister, that's not this. And they like, you in your feelings. You emotional. That's the first Why are you so, Israel is the most emotional. Like, wait, are we not human? Are we not supposed to have love? Love is not an emotion that's shown, expressed. You know, so I think it's more so about the control of our emotions and right. that our emotions shouldn't dictate everything we do. They're like a sensor. It's like, okay, I'm feeling this way, so how should I react That's righteously? Right. That's well, right. the thing is, a lot of our sisters have trust issues. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when it comes down to kind of airing out their flaws or what they're lacking, a lot of them do withhold and do have pride because they have trust issues because of maybe what they have been through before. Yeah. And even sisters in the truth, you know, you confide in the sister, you say, I don't know how to do this or I'm struggling with this, and there they go telling someone else, and then it becomes a situation where you're being you're talked about. Isolated and and you know, how, how do we fix something it? like that? How do we how do we fix something You know like what? I think, honestly, I don't think that it's an outside fix. I think that inside of you, you have to be able to be able to be able to be able to be, able to be, be, able to be okay with people talking about you. Mm -hmm. You have to people talk about Christ. People want to talk about you. You have to be you have to be able to be like, okay, you know what? That's your problem. You ain't got nothing else better to talk about. So if I'm in the topic, then that's fine. As long as I'm learning what I need to learn, as yeah. long as I'm getting what I need to get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We have to take it back to us. Yeah. We have to hold why is it such? Up. And that's a good thing she brought out because it's like I think women we put emphasis on being talked about and people not liking us so much to the point where we we, we shortchange ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you can be getting you can be getting your puzzle. You can be getting what you need. But you're so fixated and you're so worried about what people have to say. It's like yeah, you don't the got issues. Then they got the, the issues. Yeah. A lot of the issues, and this is something that I'm learning. A lot of the issues that we have with other people is issues that we really have within our It's yeah. not an issue. It's a it's you. It's okay. something okay. inside of you right, that you okay. got to deal with. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 Hey, that's my that's my nine for the day. And I think too, we also just as sisters have to learn how to be better sisters when it comes down to just being able to have those relationships. Some of us got it, you know what I'm saying? And some that aspect of it. And some of us don't. And so we have to dig in the scriptures and know and keep repeating uh, to ourselves what a friend is supposed to be, what is a sister. What what does it mean to be a sister? Because it seems like it's so cliche right now to be like, hey, that's my sister, sister. hey, yeah. sister. But what is like, because that's just like the slang right now. It's like, it's just a thing. But what does it really mean to be a sister well, okay. to another woman? Let's talk about that. Just because it came to my head, there is a scripture that talks about not rehearsing other people's secrets. Mm. It's okay to keep a secret. It's not going to kill you. Mm. If somebody tells you something in confidence, keep, keep it, it in confidence. Yes. Don't be a teller. It's okay yes. not to be a teller. Yes. That's okay. And it's mm. not a situation of, well, maybe this is something that I should bring to other people. So that they, no, if there needs to be some correction, it needs to be between you and her. Mm. Like okay. I was saying, that, that proper yeah. order right here that we bring to then we bring, then we bring it out to everybody. Just because that came to mind. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yes, <laughs> 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 I mean, that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, so so I really, I really need, I need the audience to really understand what does it mean to be a sister to another woman? How? What are the behaviors? How do we think? How do we feel towards one another when we're really operating as sisters? Man, like she said, you know, um, I, I really feel like just always being able to be transparent and real with each other, not being afraid to tell each other when you see each other slipping, but also upholding and, and, and loving. Like, it's like a couple of sisters that may get it, you know what I'm saying? Until, you know, some others may take a little bit longer, but just like, just being vigilant and paying attention to how that sister is and knowing like I'm gonna be there for her and her needs, mm. and vice versa, mm. reciprocating that. Being mm. able to talk yes. about something, but if your sister's out of pocket and you able to like tell a sis, you have pie, hey, you know, let's talk. Mm. And it's like a conversation, and that person doesn't get offended, mm -hmm. and you're able to have that that relationship. That's like gold. Like yeah. I really appreciate give correction, that correction without ending the relationship. Right. Yeah, yeah. If it's not, yeah, right. Yeah, right. you know, mm -hmm. all of that extra like. Man, you tell me, and, and you may not like it at that moment, but to be able to come back and say, hey, sis, you was right. You were looking out for my soul. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. 
being mm. being there. I mean, sometimes we got sisters in there will help you with your children. Just being able to help. Like, I got three kids, but I have a sister that may have one or may have none. And she's just there like, I got you. Like, I'm there for you. I support mm -hmm. you. What you don't have, I got you. And it's vice versa. It ain't just like, oh, I'm taking, taking, taking it. Now. That's, yeah. that's you know got something to do with the, that, that lighting you. For a person to do that, knowing that, you know, you you don't have to do that. But you're doing that because you know that sister needs that. And you you truly love your sister. That's having love, unconditional love for your sister. When you know that it takes that little bit and, and you're giving that. It's you don't have to, but you're doing that because you want to make sure that she's getting the, the nourishment she needs. She's getting the, the support she needs. Because a lot of the women are doing it by themselves. You know, they don't have that, that strong woman complex. Yeah, I got it. And that strong woman oh sometimes oh allows God. them to be alone where you're yeah you're a strong woman financially you're strong but can you lay your burdens down that's a girl yeah. some people don't know how to stop you know what? Yeah, I, I kind of get in a situation where I, i'm going to go i don't care what it is i'm going through going through and i'm like all right i can't i can't break down i can't crash because i got things to do but one example i want to uh, share is like you know i was just going through something um I, I suffered a few uh, a few losses with uh, babies, and um, you know I had a you know stillbirth, um, and recently losing a baby. I was just going through it. It was like mixed emotions, and it was just things going on, and like just to have be able to like call my sister and just I'm talking, but they can tell that something's wrong with me. So, just by the tone of your voice. Yeah. So they like, oh, what's wrong? You know what I'm saying? I always talking, and then next you know they're like, nah. We, this ain't going down. We coming over. You know what I'm saying? So they came over, brought wine, brought me flowers, came and just sat with me and chilled and we just talked and, you know, we did music. Like, I can honestly say, like, I just, those are the type of things that, that kind of bridge that sisterhood too. Just so like, they don't really care. Like, because some, some women don't care. Like, they just like, oh, for real, are oh, you the eyes? But I'm saying you, know, you can call that sister and be like, man, I, you know, I'm really feeling this, and they just there, like, oh, I'm coming over. It ain't no we talking on the phone. I'm at your house. I'm making sure you're good, and I appreciate that because I risk. I have sisters that do that. You know what I'm saying? So that that sisterhood, and like she said, keeping a secret. Sometimes you don't have to go and tell everything. Let that conversation be there, and that's where you can you know that you can trust that person. Right. And trust is a big thing. It's just yeah, yeah. yeah. So trust. And if we want that type of relationship where somebody is there for us, I feel like we need to give that to others. Even yeah. If, even if we a little bit weary, like you know what, I'm, I'm about to you know I'm about to love on her, and maybe I'll get it back. Whatever you put out is what you get back. So. Mm -hmm. You know what? This sounds real. Like it sounds mad cliche or whatever, but because it's the cliches like, be real. <laughs> and be honest, it's written in black and white, but you know the fruits of the spirit really do help. Like yeah. when, when you when you know what the fruits of the spirit are, and you can actively say, okay, instead of being abrasive, I'm going to be gentle. Instead of having an attitude, I'm going to display uh, display joy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. It, yeah. To to really embody those things and. That's to really wrong. put emphasis on making sure that people around you can see it, I think that it it's a good pathway to to for people to understand. Okay, you're that type of person because all the time you ain't gonna be that type of person. Mm -hmm. But at I the end of the days. day, yeah, sometimes <laughs> you have your days. But at the end of the day, you want for those things. You want for people to know that you can be that way. Mm -hmm. And if you can be that way, I can be that way, and we can be that mm -hmm. way. That's how we and show like somebody else to be that, that way. That way. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Just being honest, if you know you're not a, a, in the, you're around your sisters and you're in a funk or whatever, being straight up, like, man, I feel like this. Because some sisters are going through something and they take it out on their sisters and next thing you know, you know, nobody wants to be around you because you have an attitude. But if you but bring that out to your sister, sister somebody might be like, girl, I'm dealing with that too. Bring it out. Right, right. right. How we going to do this? Being vulnerable. Be yes. vulnerable. Being vulnerable and right. opening up to your sisters. Yes. Yeah. Not just your yeah. husband, exactly. you know, also to your sisters because they can be a uh, uh, rest for you as well. It's a different support. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to identify, you know for sure, for sure, that that connection of what that sister is going through or what you're going through, we're going to feel it more because mm -hmm. we have the same situation mm -hmm. going on. Yes. And the, we, all women, we all got the same situation going on. So the support that you get from your husband is going to be a different support that you get from your sister. And then he can't hold your hand because he got things to do too. Right. Yes. But that's 
with your sister there to pick you up. Right. Like, all right, sis, come on, we got this. Right. We got it. We're going to listen to so yeah. so so far. Yeah, because he got bigger things, especially with our husbands being men mm -hmm. of this truth that got to teach this word to you. Like, he can't stop what he's doing to, to hold your hand and right. carry you through everything. That's what you got your sisters doing. That's right. why you're supposed to be a, a, a pillar of strength for him mm -hmm. so that he don't have to worry about holding your hand, mm -hmm. you know, for it, things like that. Yeah, when it comes to strength, you're supposed to be able to go to your sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I, I, I wish I had to hold my hand, hand but I'm also, my sis got me too. My sis got me too. My sis got me too. So I'm, I'm balanced. I'm balanced. Right. Yeah. It's power in numbers. So yeah. Because your sister's behind you. And you like, okay, I'm, I gotta be this for my husband. I got your back because I gotta be this for my husband. So we got each other's back. Mm -hmm. We wanna make sure that we all do what we're supposed to do to get to that king. Right. And we all in the same right. mindset. Right. Yeah. Right. That's you really know, loving your sister. That's what he mean by love your neighbor mm -hmm. as you love yourself. Yes. You know, because you want the kingdom. You what you like, I want the kingdom, but you all can go home to the pit. That's yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> Not a, that's not love. That's not the love he's talking about. So when you speak and say that like that, that describes exactly what he means by having love for your neighbor. Love for yeah. And we get there. Care for I'm sorry. Love for care. No, I was just going to say there shouldn't be any sister in Israel that feels that she doesn't have a sister that's to reach out to that's or to real. call mm -hmm. or to lean on or, you know, for anything. Yeah, there should be, but yes, there is. But there, oh, some women put their, themselves in that situation, though, because you have to be a friend to, to get a friend. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you have to, you have to be that in order to show other people that they can be. That. You gotta have it in you. So <laughs> if you, yeah, if you one of them sisters, and you ain't got no sisters around you, examine yourself first. Mm -hmm. Don't go blaming every other woman yeah. that you see, and y'all and this and this. Examine yourself. You gotta speak. Get yourself to make sure. Look, so right. look, look right in the mirror when you say that. The it's you. The it's you. See where you the fall. It's you. Right. 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 Yes. The it's, it's, right. it's the it's you. Right. And it's sad though because you know, although there's a lot of people that are waking up every day, there's people that woke up. They won't be here. They they don't give up. But they say, like you say, all Israel and Israel. You know, mm -hmm. and that's how it's going to be. There's some people that they claim that they're Israel, but just like there was some Israel people there, some people don't. So my question is like, where's the balance of proving a friend and actually having that actual established relationship as a friend and having someone being a friend of you? Because you know, scriptures do say prove a friend. Mm -hmm. You don't be so quick to give credit. Mm -hmm. How do you prove? How do you prove a friend? Where's yeah. not just how do you prove a friend? Because we know we have to sit back and watch. Watch. Yeah. But it's like and engage. How do you balance that? Because it's like how when a sister comes in the truth. It's like you want to be a sister to that sister, but then it's like you gotta prove it. I, like, I think it comes with taking your time. When you get to know a sister, slowly building with her. You know, even if it's a if it's a simple text, hey, just checking in, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Those slow things. Okay, you doing anything this weekend? Oh, you not doing nothing? Let's get together and do lunch. Like, like that slow build. I think that's how you kind of be vulnerable, but mm -hmm. also make sure, making sure you have that time to prove them to make sure that they are somebody you can trust into your inner And at the same yeah. time too, take into consideration that, you know, although there's there's what everybody's gonna have their moments when they're going through something and they're off. Mm -hmm. Some people come in mm -hmm. and some people come fill out. Yes. Yeah. It's a come in and go. It's a come in so and go. it's like don't get too attached. It's not even don't get too That's attached. True. Because at the end of the day, even if you leave, I'm still gonna have love for you. Right. But just right. know that because I'm, I'm loving you from a genuine home. place, mm -hmm. it doesn't take it with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> take it with you and give it to somebody else. else. Take it with you, and Ooh, I'm still I like that. that. I'm still mm -hmm. on love on all the people that's around. It's right. Like, I, I I can give you what I could give you. You yeah. know what I mean? At the time yeah. when I know you, and then if you end up leaving, you know that I gave to you, and right. maybe you sold it to me, and you left, and it was this. But I did it from a genuine place, so I'm not missing. And that's I think that's key. That's Coming true. from a genuine place, not yeah. doing it as an A, B, and C. This is what I have to do. It's, it's genuine love. I think that's where that balance can be. If it's genuine for you, like if I tell my children or my husband, I love you, and they don't say it back, I don't need to hear it back. Because you already have it. It came from a genuine place giving it that I don't necessarily have to get all of that back. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So, what do you guys think about? how a woman's relationship with her mother plays into her relationship dealing with mm -hmm. other women. Because that's the first female interaction that women have, dealing with their mother. I love you, mommy. <laughs> I love you, you know what? Girl. Girl. I'm I'm about to tell what, are you, what are your thoughts on that, Azure? Oh, yes. <laughs> She's like, that's a good question. Her mom is here a while ago. I've never even heard of that. 
heard that question before. Like, I've heard the father aspect, like, how your father, how your, how how your relationship happen. with your father affects you towards, like, um, future Men. males that you might yeah. come into. Choosing a, 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 But yeah. I've never heard, like, the female part, like, how your relationship with your mother affects right. you with yeah, like, other true. women. Like, If she has a strong bond with her mother, then, you know, she's going to let that play into her other female relationships. But if she, like, this is her mother and she's introverted and, like, a loner kind of, she mm -hmm. most likely will be the same. mirror that into her female relationships, like, um, the same way. And, you know, maybe the people she's trying to be friends with, they'll have to work more to, like, break her down, break her, um, bury her down, mm -hmm, yeah. and get to, you know, the um, soft core that she has built up because she never got, you know, she never got the camaraderie and the mm -hmm. bond, the bonding time and all that with her mother, which mm -hmm. is the first female a daughter ever meets. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's the other way too for me. Like she brought up good points, and I think I didn't look at it like that. So I'm glad you brought that out. Um, like I was saying, I really see, like, in for instance, my mother didn't really affect me um, with having relationships with other sisters. Was but it, I, did you do the opposite? Did you not get affection from her, so you give it to, to I, more I sisters? The, like do I, the opposite. I, I, too. Yeah, like I'm not like a super affectionate person. Yeah. Um, I think I'm a little bit more like all right let's keep it real like we gotta push it and be strong because i did see my mom be very strong um i see my mom bust her butt and hustle to take care of us and um i didn't get that relationship with her like how was it yeah it wasn't all not about a lot that. of affection it was yeah. like Hey, we gotta make ends meet. How are you gonna live your affection? How are you gonna have it? That's what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm, I think I'm learning to be a little bit more affectionate. I think with you know a husband and children that that's coming along with that. But I think that what affects me more is now that I'm a mother and a wife, mm -hmm. my mother plays more into that than mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like have, being a, a, a mother, you have to talk about the things that nobody wants to talk about with their daughter. You have to teach your daughter more so than teaching her how to go out there and get it or be, have a career. Teach them how to be a wife. Teach them how to clean. Teach them how to be a servant and to look out for their brothers or sisters or, or uh, their husband. Teach them those things. Being that proper 31 woman. Right, because you don't get that. And, and a lot of mothers don't want to talk about it. They just, oh, okay, well, we're going to leave that aspect alone. When they're little, Start grooming them up. Mm -hmm. And that's right. why I with my daughter, serve your brothers. And she has brothers right now. You gotta serve your brothers. Don't talk to your brother like that because I don't want her to grow up and get to her legs. Yeah. 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 That's all yeah. I got. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got right now. So And that's gonna keep you blessed because think about it. If you know that by doing that to your husband is cursing your life. So yeah. if you're not installing that in your daughter and she's going out doing that then that curses you still because you did not give her the value. He said, don't come and kill the elders because he didn't, we didn't teach them. So if we become the elders and we don't teach our children, we held accountable for that. Yeah, and just being a mother, like, I got to admit my wrong in front yeah. of my daughter. Like, yeah. my daughter has seen me do certain things that she acts out or mimics. So I have to be real with her. Like, I know you see me, you know, do that. I was wrong for that. I should not have acted like that. I should not have talked to your daddy like that. I should have. Mm -hmm. So those things that mothers need to do, yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to say that because yeah. they don't pull your car and they're like, well, you doing it? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. so they follow what you do more so than what, what you, you say. say. So I, that's yeah. another thing that I have to be careful of and I have to make sure I'm on point because my daughter is watching and I have yeah. those things in front of her that I'm not happy about, but I have to come back and say, hey, we should we're not gonna run with that. I was wrong. The most high didn't like that situation. The most high didn't like how I acted. 
So those are things we have to be more transparent with our kids. Yeah, our relationships with our mothers definitely plays us. And I like how um, you were saying, Max, that you did the opposite of what you were given. Yeah. You give that opposite to other sisters. Speak to that for me. My mom told me really young, like, okay, so y'all know about the Disney Channel and all that fake stuff. Mm -hmm. So my mom, I used to watch like the Lizzie McGuire show. I love that yeah. show. <laughs> and all of them was real close. Like, you know, Lizzie McGuire used to come down with yeah. her little breakfast and be, oh, mom. Uh, and that's what my mom said. Mom, we ain't friends. She said, I'm never going to be your friend. Mm. And from that day, I just was like, damn. Like, I, after I cried all my tears, I was like, all right, well, you know, it is what it is. But from there, I'm, I'm the oldest of eight. There's six girls and two boys. Mm. So I still had to be able to be affectionate with my sisters. I still had to, I wanted to be the one, I know you can't talk to mom, so what's yes. up? You know what I mean? Like, I know you can't get into a mom, so what's going on with you? Like, I was that, I, I ended up being that. You, you knew what they needed. needed. Yeah, I, I, I gave them kind of what yeah, I felt like I did. You lacked what you didn't get. Oh, yeah. that's love. Yeah, that's love. so, I mean, you it kind of. You history repeat itself. You said you broke that barrier by allowing. I mean, I tried to. Yeah. I tried to. And we, me and my sisters, we still have pretty, pretty good. You know, even though I'm in the truth, but my sister said, the most high ain't get a man yet. Yes. I hope. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, that, he ain't get a man yet. But even even though we, we had differences as far as the way that we live, I still try to keep a relationship with my sisters because I understand that camaraderie amongst women is important. We don't have a lot of the answers from our elders. We don't have the elder women. They were too busy. My mother, I love you, mommy. <laughs> too busy trying to be my dad. Yep. You know what I mean? Even though my dad was there. To, to an extent, I guess she felt like my dad was an editor. You know what I mean? He wasn't this and he wasn't that. And she doesn't understand that society has a lot to do with what my dad was able yeah. to do and what he wasn't yeah. able to do. She yeah. doesn't look at it that way. She looks like, like you're the man. Curses. She Ooh. looks like, like you're the man. You were supposed to do this, and because you're not picking this up, I, I have to do it, and I have to. And, no, and it's just like, yeah, it's. And mm -hmm. I, I just, my mom didn't give my dad the benefit of the doubt that I feel like a lot of men deserve because of the barriers that are put on. And yeah. she didn't give herself the rest because she, she let him do it. Rest. She could have had a lot, sis, a lot of work. And because I understand that my mom didn't give herself that rest, I am able to forgive my mom for the way that she was when I was growing up. Cause I understand, like you just didn't know any better. You mm -hmm. did what I would have done you had I not right, learned right, better. You right, know what right. I mean? If I didn't know better, I would have done exactly what you did. And because I, I just thank God that I wasn't put in the position to repeat that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I mean, it all depends on the type of person that you are. Sometimes right. we're not gonna get what we need from the people that we feel like we need it from. But the Most High is so kind. You don't have to get it from your mom. You're gonna get it from this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get it from because I have a whole bunch of women in this troop. That I look at as mothers. Okay. That they might not, I might not be able to sit down and, you know, have certain conversations with them. Yeah, everybody, but yeah. with everybody. But you can pick, okay, I know that you're good for this. So what can I get? The, yeah, you know, you, can you get the feeling in that puzzle. What yeah, is that scripture? Exactly. How should I say? Uh, when the disciples came and said, your mother and your sister's them brothers the, outside the gates. Them were the like, ones that, the ones that keep my commandments. The ones that keep my, mother, my, my father's brother, my commandments are the ones, exactly. those are my mother and Exactly. Father. And so I look, and the, and the Most High also said that uh, something about, um, Something about when when you don't when you give that up he'll give it back to you mm, tenfold. You know what I mean? Yes. So I have a bunch of mothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I have a bunch of fathers. I have and a sisters. bunch of brothers. A bunch of sisters. I have a whole. I have an abundance. Exactly. That's how we have to look at each other yeah. as brothers, absolutely. sisters, mothers, and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love how you you know you guys brought in the fact that you didn't get certain things so you show that out because that's what a lot of I think of our younger sisters are dealing with now mothers are not being mothers grandmothers are not being grandmothers instead of playing into it and you know being that repeated curse you know repeating that cycle breaking we should need to more so break those generational curses yeah. you know because I've had that same experience and that's why I try to do the things that I do as far as you know building sisterhood because I didn't have that camaraderie I didn't get that affection so I you know so it, it's probably a little bit harder for me to build relationships with sisters but I'm you know trying to go against that and you know build build with them and not having that relationship with my mother so I'm definitely you know with both of you guys on that love you too mom hey. <laughs> I'm sending a video to you
<laughs> so I try to build that up with with other sisters, you know, not getting that affection um, coming in. I try to give that to others and try to allow myself to bring that in and find, like you said, those figures in other sisters. Mm -hmm. Because I definitely pull that from from mm -hmm. Andy, you know, having that sisterly bond and you know building and learning from her um, certain things because of the life that we live together. So mm -hmm. yes, I think for um, me, uh, I've grown where. It was, you know, you, you couldn't really be vulnerable to your family. Um, it was used against you. Um, and because I came into the truth and my family's not there, it's really used Whoa. against me. Because they want you, they're like, oh, let's see how the most I deal with you. You say, you know, let's see how things play out for you now that you're in this truth. Because you gave up Jesus. You know, so <laughs> I was, <laughs> no, no, you know, I'm gonna say just say the name. Now, I didn't give up your house, I ain't, no, but the, the the Christianity forms and ways I gave up those ways, I gave up the fort, I gave up the truth, you know, I gave up anything that he says that he's gonna kill me for, you know. So, for them, they look at me and they they kind of hold their own little secret counsels against me. Like, you know, yeah. uh, but you got to know the only way that they know God is through it. Exactly. So and I continually do it. And I don't, you know, that's my cross that I'm bearing right there is that I'm coming here knowing that at the end of the day, if I don't push, y'all going to die. I love you. I don't want you to die. I want you to live too. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to keep on, even if that means I'm not invited to nothing. That means that you don't want me at your house. That means that I'm looked at like that crazy lady. I'll take that. Because at the end of the day, it's my love that I have that I want us all to be on the same page. And it's sad to me because my sister, I actually, when I came into the truth, my sister, she was watching Banging on Esau. Wow. Yeah. It, it, she was watching that video Banging on Esau and uh, a few other Hebrew rappers. Um, and I, and they said something and I was like, at first I was like, she's crazy. You know, she's, she's lost her mind. And so I just swore she was crazy. I love my sister. But I was like, you crazy. But I, I it's something where I come to visit, I check on her off, and, and I came to visit her, and I, something that was played, and they talked about Deuteronomy, these curses and stuff. And I seen that, I said, that's true. You know, you couldn't hide and deny that we didn't come over on slave ships. So at that point, I went in and started looking at her. My sister fell back. And she started seeking other things, and going too far. So I had to cut her off. As much as I pleaded with her to come and stay here, don't do that. You know that, you know. That this, might have been the most high that's, that's not, yes. But her the way yes. to look is not yes. necessarily for her. Doesn't it's mean that the door, exactly. So that's how I took it. I was like, I'm grateful for the fact that she brought me in even if we couldn't continue this together. Right. Yeah. Because so. the most high use people how he wants. Like that. Yeah. 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 So, you know, keeping in the theme of sisterhood right now, because, you know, I, we have a nice little rainbow of sisters here. I want to know, what are you guys' view on colorism and how it affects sisterhood? Like, segregation within our own people. What are what are the things that you've seen, you've experienced? What are your thoughts on colorism? Within Completely our annoyed. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think colorism is a very I like that word. Say that again. What? Progressive. <laughs> I don't think, I mean, not just for sisters, but we're just going to keep it for, but just for every, all people, all people of color, when I say people of color, I mean blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Um, just according more. to the Willie Lynch, the, the Willie Lynch letter said that we would, um, they would separate us into like by color, even though we're literally all the same. Like, what does color mean? <laughs> I mean that, and then like it's become so popular nowadays on social media, like for light skins and like team dark skin, team light skin, and it's just like, what does it matter though? It, it's it's like we're all supposed to be working to become stronger together and have a better bond, but if we're like still separating ourselves into color and using colorism as a device to continue to separate ourselves and how are we ever gonna get to the ultimate state of togetherness that we're supposed to be in state? Right, right, right. Anybody else got any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I think, I think that is a symptom, when it comes down to it, it's a symptom of the world being turned upside down. At the end of the day, 
say the media belongs to Esau. Mm -hmm. So he advertises mm -hmm. his beauty as the standard well, beauty. Yeah. So anybody that uh, anybody of us that fits into that standard of beauty feels like, oh, but I'm closer to being white, so I'm more I'm, I'm more beautiful. When it when when it really comes down to it. If the first man came from the soil and the black and the berry, the sweet and the juice. juice. <laughs> so when it comes down to it, it really should be the opposite. But because the world is turned upside down, yeah. and I think it plays back to what you talking about with that really much letter, yeah. because oh, yeah. how it's yeah. separate. Because you had the house niggas, yeah. then you had the field niggas. But I think we forget the fact that we was all niggas. We was all at niggas. the end of the day. That part, yeah. You know, the, the ones in the house, what you was talking about, Antoinette? Um, when I, as, as far as slavery, you know, when it, they would take the the lighter skinned woman and put her in the house to work, but yet still the, the darker woman's in the field envying that lighter skinned woman, but don't know that that was all a part of the setup for her to be raped. It wasn't about her um, being able to have a better life, it was about her being a, a over more accessible. Yes, yes, accessible and raped repeatedly. So now you got a whole new class of people called mulatto because you now share this, the slave master's bloodline, which they made it where your hair now identifies who you are because your skin, mm -hmm. mulattoes were now the same complexion, if not lighter than they master. So now they used the hair to define if you were who you were. So that's where they were like, if you had curly hair, you're mulatto, you're dark, you know. So it continued on. And we continued on down the line where um, you have the brown society. You have a society of people that if you were darker than paper bags, you could not get in. This is our own people doing this to our own people. Finding ways to make our, to bring each other low within it, you know? And you know, that even goes down to, to nations, you know, of uh, Hispanics and mm -hmm. Blacks and things like that. So Sister Minnie, I want to ask you because, you know, you come from a mixture of a background <laughs> that we were talking about yesterday. Can you just give us a little bit of insight on what your cultural background from your mother and your father and how you've seen, you know, the things you've experienced because of that? Because we definitely have a lot of ground on ground issues and things like that. So give us your background as far as your ethnicity and things it like that. It goes on, like, these situations happen, it goes on, like, from both sides. I want to say it starts off with my whole family. My own blood. Be what, me what's your mom? What's so your dad's? My mom is from born in Hawaii. And my daddy's black, straight black. And so, which so like my skin complexion or my hair, like it's from both sides of the family be different. It's a total cultural difference. So like sometimes when I go here, I'll get you know, oh your hair, your hair, you know, is different from ours and it's not the same. Or like when I go here, it's like oh you're white skin. You're, you know, you ain't. Just not good enough. And it's just, I can't, I can't, and I can't wait for losing for one both of them. But even when I go out in like society, it's like people be asking me, "You blazing? What are you? You know what I'm saying? I be like, you know, I just can't. Yeah, like, like, what do you identify as? Yes. I am my father black because you all my name is black. Yes. But then they start to ask, "You black?" What you mix with, and then, right. and then, then you mix with, yeah, and then it goes into what you mix with. My mama don't matter. It, 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 my mama don't matter. It's like my mama don't matter. That sounds bad, but it's real. My mama don't matter. My mama don't matter. It's so frustrating. But I mean, it it is what it is. It's just. Have you had to deal with women disliking you or having an issue with you because of the way you look, not knowing exactly what you are? Oh yeah, and to this day, people will still question it. What about people in, in who call themselves Israelites? Do you deal with that in the community yeah. that you're not Israelites? Oh, Israelite. Israelite. Oh, yeah. what, what are the things you've experienced? I've, I've experienced someone saying that it's it's all uh, Negro. Only, only me. He was the only Negro one, and so like because of my last name, because of my complexion, because of my hair, and everything, because. My feature, my facial features is different. My, my bloodline is not all of my phenotype, and it's just like I got ridicule, rid, ridicule for it, and it's just like. But it's. I mean, at the end of the day, it, I don't really care for it. But you if know, that's what you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you know what the scripture said, that part. Tell it. Once you know what the scripture said, yeah. then you be confident in that. Confident in that you walk in that. Yeah. No matter what people say, everybody got their own little thoughts. They they barely they don't know they gonna make it. That part, right. they you barely know, know if you black. How do you know what tribe you are? They did not give us the book of Negroes and tell us where we came from. Or what right. 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 
know. We don't know. That's why so, we got to test the spirits. Yes. Right and that's all you can out. do. And he said, he's going to separate the wheat from the tear. So yeah. what do we look like getting out there trying to figure out what is wheat and what is tear? It's not my job. My job is to be in order. What I think. All right. So as we, as, we, as, we, as we talk about sisterhood, I want to, because we, we brought out a lot of ne negative interactions. I want us to bring some light. Tell me a positive interaction that you've had with a sister that had your heart like, ooh. Yes, that, that's where it's at. Give me a positive interaction. I was in Target last week. Last week? I was in Target last week. I seen a sister. I seen a sister. She was way down there. And I was we was coming eye to eye. Coming eye to eye. And she was like, Shalom, sis. Hey. Real life. That's right. When I said they all looked at us like we was crazy, I was like, dang, like it's really other sisters I'm out loud. there. I'm I'm like, I, never run, I never run into like an Israelite sister like that. I, I got this Israelite dude at Target to get back to me. But but to uh, have a sister that scream it out loud, like represent, like, hey, you know, and I'm that she saw your know, life, man. She saw your life from way down there. Yeah. Too. I was coming towards her. I have a longer fringe. You know those jackets that come with the fringe, they real long. Yeah. So I guess she was coming my way to see if it's just a fringe or is it just a ribbon of blue and a fringe. Mm -hmm. so, so we got contact and we come and I'm like, she looking at me like she know me, but when she opened up her mouth, she's like, Shalom, sis. And these people that were standing around looked at us like, they sisters? Are they sisters? Y'all sister, got the same mom and the same dad. Is the same same the same same black thing that they do? It's the black thing. Right, right, right. This is right. 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 another positive interaction that a sister has had with a woman. Listen, this, 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 this. Right. I have one with you. You did? I ain't never had this. This is new to me, but this is just an example. Like, I don't know if it's on that one or that one, but like, the question you asked me, you had her trivia. Mm -hmm. Right, eyes or ears. Mm -hmm. Sis chimed in, help me out. Sis chimed in, help me out, and help me figure out. Okay, what was my answer? And that's like what I appreciate about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it's it's right. Right. yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not really right. knowing each other, but the fact that I mean, social media did something good for us to mm -hmm. right. 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 get to know yeah. each other. Yeah. And for the audience to know, like, this right. is kind of the first time that most of us are sitting down yeah. together, right. meeting on social media, right. knowing like, hey, you're an Israelite, I'm an Israelite. I like how you talk. I like how you talk. Let's come together. Right. 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 The genuine feeling mm -hmm. that, you know, when you guys walked in the door, it's like, oh, it's like, hey, yeah. family. Yeah. 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 You know, as we wind down our conversation now, because this has been a beautiful conversation, I'm loving it. We, can, we definitely need to continue this, you know, as you know, our viewers are watching this and our ladies here, we definitely need to continue this conversation with women around us and continue to build. So I want to know what are some things that we can do to kind of help build sisterhood between women to have these type of conversations and have these types of relationships. What are baby steps and things that we can kind of do to help begin that conversation? Smile. Say, introduce yourself. Yeah. Say hello. Just, say hello. Just be. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Because you know, you be walking down the street. I love when I see my elders and I see my brother, sister. I'll be like, how you doing? How you doing? Show them. Show them. But you know, when you get the ones that aren't used to that, and they're yeah. like, yeah. but it can yeah. stay spirit. And they speak like, and I'm like, yes, that part. And I'll see you next week, and I'll see you again. Yeah. And you know, and, and you know what? Asking the question of, hey, how you doing? And stopping and looking at the person. Because yeah, that 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 some of the people are like, hey, how you doing? Right. They're like, I'm fine. Because I usually do the drive by <laughs> one. Hey, you know, yeah. I, I'm not really stopping. So you, you know what? Taking I'm, that time. I might do that. It's, 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 it's a big it one. Just that's an uh, opener. It's an icebreaker. And then just um, creating a space to be a monster each other. Yeah. Having things that. Um, will give us an, an opportunity to be amongst each other, like mm -hmm. these type of things. Right. Just, or a gathering, just got that. It starts off like that with women, and then it brings a, a study session after that. You know what I'm saying? Building a core into each other. Yeah, I love it. I like this like that. And we need yeah. more of that. So as we yeah. so okay. as we close out with our final question, because at the end of the day, this is all about building each other up, and I feel like we definitely need to focus on our youth. So what advice would you ladies give? Son, son. Me and this, you said to the youth, he's speaking. Shh. Bring them. Send them. Send them. Send them. Bring them. We got to close out with a child in. Yes. Because out of the mouth of a baby, okay? The baby. You ain't looking your most handsome, but you let you down. Oh, we should let him down, right? Oh, you light. You light, baby. Okay. All right, so as we close out, because we got some youth here, 
Um, you know, our biggest thing is pouring into each other, but definitely our young girls, because we don't have a lot of good examples of wives and mothers to build each other up. So I want to know, what's some good advice that you would give to a sister who's aged 10 to 18 years old about the importance of being a positive, a caring, the type of woman that we're talking about? What type of advice would you give to that sister in guidance? And I want y'all to look right at them at this moment. And, you know, what type of advice would you give to a young girl who's just striving to be better but don't necessarily see that around them? Study. That's what I was going to say. Study yourself. Study to show yourself. Yeah. You'll get it. We have a lot of great examples in scripture of four mothers, of our four mothers that were incredible women. And even if you might not be in a situation where you can congregate with other women that are good examples, but if you read and you get in those scripts, you will definitely see women that that display a lot of different characteristics that we're going to need in a nation. And so clean, cling to wisdom. If you see somebody that you that's going down the right path, cling to them and take their correction. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of uh, young sisters have a hard time with being told to do, how to do something. So let your pride down. Cling to people. And cling to wisdom along with studying. I would say you have you know self respect. Um, be confident in yourself, and that way you can pour into other sisters without negativity and, and strife and things like that. And um, I would think, you know, because it's not a lot of the examples, sometimes you have to be what you don't see. Mm -hmm. You might know, you know what, it's a better way to do this, a better way to think, a better way to, you know, be. And you may not have those examples around or anybody pull from you. But if you looking at righteous examples, the word of the most high, those basic instructions before leaving the earth and use that as your map. You know, you might need to be that person to start it off and to pull other sisters in. So don't be afraid to be what you don't see. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Anything else any sisters want to add before we close out? Let, Let your light, light shine. Be a light unto the nations. Lead by example. All right. We love y'all sisters out there. We love y'all. <laughs> know that it's sisters out here, women that's out here that love one another, that have respect for themselves and just want to pour into other women around them and be better. All right. So before we close, I want to thank you all for being here today, joining me thank on this episode. Thank you. Great watch. Thank you. It's been wonderful. We have to do this again. Right. I need a reason to come to Cali thank every you. year. So awesome. let's do this. All right, and for my audience, I thank you all for, you, um, for tuning in today. It's been wonderful. I hope you got something great from this conversation. And just like we said and had this conversation today, start to do that with the women around you. Start to build yourself up, build the other women around you, and us as a people will come up. So I thank you for joining us, and I love you all. Shalom. 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 Shal